Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the first trade of Revival. So this collects, I think, issue one through issue one through five. Uh, so it's five issues, only a nine ninety nine book uh, because that's what Image Love or twelve ninety nine book. Uh, I got it for like nine ninety nine on Amazon, so it's pretty cheap. And uh, Revival, it's a series I've always wanted to read. Um, and I actually got because of the two slash revival one shot because I never read two or revival and after I read it or before I read it I was like hey this is probably gonna be a series for new readers because either the writers are thinking oh two fans are gonna go read this because it's two revival fans are gonna read this because it's revival but revival fans might not have read two and vice versa so it's a one shot that's got to be new reader friendly and it was very new reader friendly for both franchises or both series and that's why I did read it and I uh, really enjoyed Chu and really enjoyed Revival but I wanted to pick one of them so I did pick Revival um, and also Tim Seeley was going to be at special edition New York Comic Con which his flight was cancelled so he actually wasn't there but I was going to do an interview with him and I wanted to um, interview him about Revival and all his other projects coming up uh, but yeah, let's get into Revival. What is this story about? It's about this town in Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin, and, uh, these people start coming out, uh, coming back to life. Um, and not just, like, zombies, like, they're brainless. They, they literally are the same people. Uh, a lot of older people you're seeing in the first volume, so, uh, people that naturally died. And some people that didn't naturally die that you see a little bit more of in the series. And uh, the big mystery is M, um, the sister of our main character, uh, who is a cop who wants to make her father happy, who was a teenage mom, and uh, trying to make a life for herself. And she is now put into the revival police section and has a partner in trying to figure out all these revival cases and then finds out that her sister's a revival. And she doesn't even know how her sister died and her sister doesn't know how she died either. Uh, so it's the mystery of that and what exactly does it mean to be a revival and that's obviously going to be something that not in just just this volume discovers but the whole series discovers. Um, so honestly I read this uh, this trade and uh, two issues in I'm like I gotta get the next one. I gotta get all three. I could got, gotta get these back issues because uh, it's that intriguing. Uh, the story is very interesting with the revivals but it's also the characters that really pull you in and for me I love character based stories and I think this is a great mi mix of mystery you're intrigued by the story the plot in that in general of revivals but then the characters really pull you in if uh, you know M wasn't here if our main character wasn't here um, then I feel that it wouldn't be as good as a series if it was replaced by other characters I mean the story is good but the characters make it great um, so that's something I really liked about Revival, and again, especially M. And that's one thing I want to say that really got me into the series was M herself. Um, and I read like an interview in the back of, I think, Volume 2, and it said, I've been holding on this character, or Tim Seeley said, um, I've been holding on to this character for years, and Revival was a perfect fit. And I totally agree with that. I think without that character, there wouldn't be so much of a personal stake for our main characters. So, to see that... Um, I think it made the story more intriguing because there's the mystery of who the hell are these revivals and who the hell killed Martha and what the hell is she going to become. So I was really intrigued by the whole series and volume one is just a great summary and a, a great start for the series to get you really pulled into the mystery um, and to dig deeper into these characters. I would say the only problem I had, and it's not even a problem, it's just something I would like to see in the future, is that they mention a lot of things that um, our main character is in high school or like M was close to the father. So I would like to see some flashbacks. I think there's so many references to five years ago um, that it would be nice to see where these characters were before this all happened. Um, so that's really the only thing I would really like to see in Revival is flashbacks. Again, I haven't read all the volumes. I'm like in the beginning of volume two. So uh, I don't know if it happens or not, but I would really like to see some flashbacks. Um, and let's talk about the art. I think the art just fits so great for the series. It's not too dark, but it's dark enough. Um, I like that not really sketchy at all. And uh, yeah, especially these covers too. These covers are amazing. Um, let me show you. Hopefully I can find one here. 
all these covers are just amazing for the series. And again, this just got me hooked. So I gotta give it five stars. If I ever get first issue, second issue, and I'm like, whoa, I need more. Um, just I just went on Amazon and bought everything. Uh, you know you have a good series on your hand. So uh, five stars. I really recommend Revival to everybody, and I really can't wait. Uh, to finish all this, now I can read this ongoingly and review it ongoingly uh, because I'm really excited to get this in printed form. So, uh, Revival, definitely pick this up. It's a great series. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this East Comic You Know Comic Frontline. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Right Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.